Hi everyone, I'm Allie with Potomac Beads. Gather up some materials and join me in making this Royal Matters necklace. Remember that you can make this as any part of a component, as a ring, as a bracelet, as earrings, and really make it your own. I would suggest even watching through to the end to give you some ideas on some size variation and some changes that you can make and then build along and design your own. So we're going in here and we're going to be designing this Royal Matters necklace, bracelet, whatever you wanna make it. I have some different seed beads here. I have twos, three, four, and four millimeter crystals, along with some 11 Odelicas in the Duracoat galvanized silver, and then some galvanized yellow 15 O's. When I did this design with Teresa in the Facebook, or I'm sorry, the YouTube live, I went ahead and I used 11 O seed beads. I'm switching to Delicas to make the corners a lot sharper. So to begin, I'm going to begin by putting onto my needle, skipping over to the three millimeter. I'm gonna add a three millimeter, two delicas, and then I'm gonna repeat that four times. So I have on three millimeter, which is in that metallic purple color, going along with the purple today, and then also ending with two seed beads. So you're gonna end up on your thread with your four three millimeter crystals along with two seed beads between each. Go ahead and pull that tight. And then we're gonna round it out. Go back through the first crystal and the first delica and bring your thread out. From here, we get that nice kind of rounded out design. And what I wanna do is actually go through and put a delica, in, or sorry, a 15-0 between each delica. So I'm gonna put a 15 on my needle, sew through the next delica, the next crystal, and the next delica. Give a nice tight pull because really what we want that 15-0 to do is kind of pop out to the side like that, creating a little point. In the original design that I did kind of last minute in the live, I did use another 11-0 in the middle there. I want the color of the 15-0, so I've decided to kind of use that for my corner. Going around in the circle then, I want you to do it four times going through the Delica, Crystal Delica, coming out between the two Delicas and adding that 15-0 onto the actual design. Once you're through to the final one, you're gonna be coming out of, I want you to come out through that first crystal which sits right beside that stop bead. And that's gonna be our first go round. What we're gonna do now is add in some other beads kind of circling around, as well as our smaller crystals. So we're gonna go in now after the crystals, and we are going to add two 15 O's and then a smaller crystal. So remember, I have some two millimeters here. So I'm gonna pick up two gold 15 O's, and then I'm gonna pick up a two millimeter crystal, and that's in that Alexandrite color, two more 15s onto my needle. And then we're gonna take it back through that same bead that the thread is coming out of. So you're going circling around, the thread's coming out the crystal, and I'm gonna go into the top of the crystal basically, so that way these beads will sit right on the top. From here, I'm gonna go back through the delicas, not the 15, over through to the next crystal. If you want to, and you're not as concerned about it being as tightly into a squared shape, you could actually have skipped the step of adding the 15 O's in at that point, going around once, and just added them in here along this design. I like the kind of perfection that it gives when you actually do this one more time around and pull those delicas back in together. Coming out the crystal then, you're going to repeat that 15, double 15s with the three millimeter, or the two millimeter rather, and then two more 15s, back through the crystal. And then when you come out after the crystal and circle around, bringing those beads kind of right over top of that crystal, you're gonna again go through the next delica and come on out. So you're not going back through those 15s that we added at all. Again, adding one more time, two 15s, your two millimeter crystal, and then two 15s. As I add those two 15s, the two millimeter crystal, the two 15s, back through that first crystal right there, 
And then after you go through the crystal, go back through the two delicas, pulling that 15-0 really into the corner. After you have that, you get one more chance around. We're going to through that crystal. Going to add our crystals along the top with our seed beads. And after we do that, we are going to kind of do what's called a step up. So we're going back through the crystal like we've been doing. And then from here, I want to step up so my thread is coming out through the crystal that I just added. To do so, I want you to go through the two 15s and bring your needle up as well then through that crystal and out. What we're gonna do now is what I call the magic time. We are going to take our thread and needle around the circle going into all of the two millimeter crystals. So we're not adding extra, any extra beads. We're just making sure that all of this kind of goes right to the center, going through the next crystal, pulling all my long thread through. You'll thank me later for that long thread. Through to the next crystal and then through to that starter crystal as well and back through. Now I'm using green thread for this. That's mainly because I want you to be able to see the thread, but you could also use white thread for it. So you can see now how that nice little kind of cubic actually fits together. We're gonna reinforce it by going back through that center crystal line one more time, and then we're gonna progress to our next one. The next one I still want to, I'm gonna go up a size. So I'm gonna use the lighter on the bottom and then so we're gonna use four millimeter on the bottom and then the three millimeter on the top. To get to the next space, we wanna connect the smaller version with the three millimeter base to one with a four. Coming out through one of the center two millimeter crystals, I'm gonna go down through two 15s along the side. And without making a knot here. I'm going to go through one of the crystals and then out to that corner 15-0. So I'm going through the base crystal, one of those three millimeter crystals, bringing my needle through. And then also through the Delica and out through that 15-0 on the corner. The 15-0 in the corner is gonna be my connecting spot. And now I'm gonna go in and basically start my pattern again. I wanna use a Delica first, and then I'm gonna pick up my four millimeter rounds, two Delicas, four millimeter round, two more Delicas, four millimeter round, two Delicas, four millimeter round, that gets four on, and then one more Delica. I'm gonna go around in a circle back through that 15 that my thread was coming out of. That's gonna create my next starter loop. From here, go around in the circle, adding in your 15s between each bead here. And when you come to the center 15, we're going to skip right over to the next Delica bead and come out the crystal to do our loops. So I've gone in now and I've kind of tightened out that diamond, adding in the 15 O's between each. And again, when you get back to that starter 15 O, what you are doing is going right through the Delica because you're not gonna go through that 15 O again and through the crystal. Coming out the crystal, we're gonna repeat that pattern of two 15s. And this time I'm gonna pick up the purple color in that three millimeter. So remember, we're kind of switching colors. And then I want two more 15s. Just like we did on the previous one, we're circling back through that crystal and out the other side. That's gonna put our first loop along here. I'm going then back through one more time through the Delicas, not through the 15. So I'm going straight across through the Delicas, which is gonna make that 15 that we stuck on the corner stick out a little bit more. Once we're through the Delicas and we have that nice tight pull, go through your crystal one more time and out. From here, once you're through that crystal, you're gonna do another grouping here of your 15s as well as your three millimeter. And we're gonna repeat that four times total, three more times, and get back then to getting ready to fold those crystals over the top. 
So here I have put on the last of my two millimeter or three millimeter crystal that sits on the top. I'm stepping up through the first two 15s as well as through that central crystal. And once I step up, it's my time now to come around the circle, full circle, going through that crystal on the top of my cube, or a square, I should say. So I'm going through the top of all of those crystals, circling around, and once we circle around, we're gonna go back through that starter crystal. And then after coming back through that starter crystal, give a nice little tight pull. Pull your seed beads kind of down into place and your design down into place. Go through one more crystal. Two more crystals. And then down along the side. To go down along the side to connect to the next spot, you're gonna go through the two 15s that sit right after that crystal and then go through the crystal as well as the next delica and you're going to get to that 15 0 to be on the corner now what i'm going to do is i'm going to do another pass where i go back from my bigger one to or back from this bigger one to a smaller one next to another bigger one and then i'll go in and get ready to progress to even the next size crystal but i'm going to do a little bit of a pattern here to start that sides of my necklace so i've gone through and continued with the design adding in the three four three four then switching to the four in the metallic purple then four four jumped up to a six in that other alexandrite color back down to a four and now i'm going to go into kind of creating that v effect so normally we've been going into the kind of corner 15 i'm going to go in this time to the base 15 in and the bottom 15 of that little kind of floral section Keep in mind, too, as you create, um, just that you're kind of going around two more of your crystals to come down. Now, with the 8O disco or the 6O disco balls, I did need to switch to 11O seed beads because I thought I was going crazy and the delicas were being eaten by the beads because the disco balls have really, um, some of them have a really big opening. So I did need to switch to some 11 O's along the base. So I'm coming out here to one of the off sides or the bottom 15 O on that piece. Once I'm at the bottom 15 I'm going to continue the design with the disco balls just as if I was coming off the side and that's going to bring me down to that base. So again, 11, then a disco ball, two 11s, disco ball, two 11s, and I did them in the same kind of silver color, disco ball, one 11, or two 11s, one shy, disco ball, one 11. So now when I bring this out and round this out through that 15 at the base of this little flowered square, it's gonna hang right off the bottom there. So you're able to see kind of that progression when you get it into the necklace of that creation with the start of the Y. Now I'm gonna continue on, do the little flower on the top and then we'll progress from there. So as you come around then down, you wanna to get to the bottom corner to do our opened up piece of this um, royal necklace. And when you're doing this here, you want to think about the fact that you're coming out of that 15 and we're going to open up and do that bigger one for our third drop in this progression. As we're coming through the third drop, I do want to mention, which I should have mentioned a little bit earlier, that when you do get to the six millimeter rounds, you do need three 15 O's. So along here, you're using three 15 O's instead of your two count. I'm going to go around one more time, creating the exact same little flowered basket here. And then we're going to open it up further at the bottom with that second row of our connection. So the last thing we're going to do is go around and kind of just give a nice little finishing touch to our largest piece at the bottom. I've already done one here so you can kind of see the effect and we're doing the same thing that we're doing three seed beads but then I'm adding a two millimeter. Three seed beads go around and back around through. When you come out through that disco ball you're going to add one of your two millimeters and sew through the corner 15. I'm going to sew through or add another one of my two millimeters 
and sew through my next disco ball. So you can see it adds that kind of color on the outside. From here again, add three of your seed beads, your 15s, one of your two millimeter crystals, and three of your 15s. You're circling around again, back through, and if it wants to go back through that 11-0 already, let it go. And back through that next bead there. You can see it kind of sits right up there, right along that top of the crystal. From here then, we're gonna shift over to the other side and repeat the same thing, going through the 11-0, going through the disco, and then adding your three 15s along with your two, and then along with three more 15s. Once you have those three 15s on, go ahead and sew through that disco ball and push them back along the project. From here, add a two millimeter, sew through that 15-0 right there at the corner, which was one of the corners, I should say. Add another two millimeter, and then through the next disco ball. Again, I'm gonna wrap around, adding my last little kind of fringe on there, and then my two crystals here in the middle. After you add that last crystal into place, you're gonna sew through the final one of your disco ball beads. And you can see that nice kind of floral pattern that happens right there along the base and really sets apart this royal necklace. I wanted to make it different from the actual live in case you watch that, so that way you would get a whole new different effect. Now what I need to do is get back up to the top and downgrade along the top. So what you're gonna do is your thread and needle, if they're getting kind of short, you're gonna go along the base of the project. So just kind of looking back here, I'm gonna go through the 11 O's through the disco ball, crisscross through the 11 O and the 15, back through the 11, crisscross through back to the side here, and that'll put me right along the side so that way I can start adding and graduating down from my top portion of my little chain here. When you get to the end, you are going to kind of keep your options open if you want. You can crystal up the back and kind of string on that way. I'm gonna add a wire guard right after one of my crystals. So I'm coming out just like as if I was going to add another one of my components, and I'm gonna drop on one of my crystal rounds. And I want that big one kind of at the end to anchor it and to pull that color to the end. Put on a wire guard going through one side of the wire guard, coming down through the other side of the wire guard, and back through that bead. When you come back through that bead, we're gonna reinforce one time and kind of circle around. So you're coming out one side of your 15-0 when you add it on the crystal. I wanna make sure to sew back into that opposite side of that 15-0, so that way it makes it nice and kind of rounded out and that the crystal sits nicely on top. In addition to that, you're gonna reinforce going through one more time, and then you'll have your opportunity to add your cording or your chain or ribbon, whatever you choose, right along the back. Once you finish up, you'll have your two wire guards on either end, and you can take some beading wire, you can take some chain. I'm gonna attach chain just to the back of it, and you'll have your nice, beautiful necklace here, which hangs really, really pretty, super formal look, but you can also make it really, really informal, and that's kind of the beauty of this Royal Matters, is you can decide how much Royal matters to you. So you can do it as a bracelet, you can do it as these beautiful kind of lotus earrings, or you can do it full on as the necklace along like I did. Thanks so much for watching and for having fun making the Royal Matters necklace. Remember, this was a design that we did during a YouTube Live with Teresa back earlier this month, so you can check out that design live as well. Remember also that you can get your materials from us at potomacbeads.com as well as potomacbeads.eu. There's a little button below that says show more. You can click on that shop here button and get links to all of the great products online. You can also near that button, subscribe to this YouTube channel to get regular updates from Mama from us hit that little bell and then also in addition to that give us a little thumbs up you can let me know in the comments exactly what you're going to do with this kind of pattern design and this design element and what actually is going to go into your royal matters design thanks so much for watching and enjoy and happy beating